Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve a very interesting scenario that is showing only weekdays from the last end days selected by the user. So user will have the option to select a date. So from that date, we should go to last end days. But the challenge here is from those days, I want to display only weekdays, not the weekends. So let us see how we can solve this. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to create a parameter. Okay. Because we want a user to select date and I'm writing that as a, a select date. Okay. And because he will be selecting date, I'm trying to write it as uh, take it as a date parameter. Okay, and click on OK. So we have created date, first step. Second thing, let us see what are the dates that we have. I'm just trying to see the dates that we have in sample superstore. You can refer it to your data source that you are using. If, if you see, we have uh, dates ranging from 2019 to 2022, but I want it to refer to current year. So simply I'm trying to create another field on top of this and writing it as current year and uh, I'm just doing date add function just adding one to my year okay and I'm taking this so this will you know uh, add one year to already existing years and it will become 2023 so let us convert uh, this it is currently in date and time I am just converting it into date Okay, so this is optional. Now, if you see, we have thrill 2023, fine. So I'm removing this because year of order date we no longer need. And I'm just taking exact date so that we can see what all the dates we have, fine. So these are the dates that we have. Now our first intention is to show last end days, okay? So here I'm going for a very specific scenario that was asked. I want the last 21 days. So I'm going to build a logic for that. And, uh, and I'm writing it in here as last 21 days, okay? So first thing, uh, I'm using date diff function, okay? Date diff of my uh, day part I want to differentiate, right? So because we want last end days. So here the user is talking about days. So that is the reason I have taken day from my day diff part. And I want to do a difference between my select date and my current current year date. So let us see what are the val uh, values we will get. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just take this Okay, let us convert this into dimension and I will just drag and drop here. Okay, so we are getting values ranging from 19 till, so here it is, see if you see here, we are currently in 11, so it is going minus here. So maybe we have a return. Okay, so last end days we need. So I'm just trying to adjust the calculation here. Maybe I'll put current here, here, and uh, this one here, click on apply. So, so we don't need any positive numbers here. We want only this, okay? Last 21. So from here, 11 to 21 I need, okay? So, okay, first step is done. So we are getting days here. Now we want last 21 only. So I'm writing is my date of difference is greater than zero because we want to avoid this positive numbers. I'm writing greater than or equal to zero and, and I'm writing it should be less than 21. Okay, it should be less than 21. So you can also use in function to solve this or you can also try other approach now if you see here we got only those dates which are matching okay now i am what i am doing is i am writing an if statement on top of this if my uh, date difference is greater than this and it is less than this uh, i am writing this in the bracket
so if my dates are in between this then i need uh, my current year date and i am ending it simple okay so let us see what will be the result okay now if you see we are getting only those dates last 21 days we got right but again our challenge is like we want only weekdays right so we want weekdays in this so i'm writing another calculation just to show you uh, what i'm doing is uh, i'm taking again calculated field to find out weekday and i'm using a function called as is weekday of our last this one 21 days okay so let us see what will be the result for this so that I, explain, I can explain you further. So I'm just trying to add right next to this so that we understand. Now see here, 20, uh, it is giving as one, so 2011. So 2011, what is 20? It is Monday. So for Monday, we are getting as one. Tuesday, we are getting as two. Likewise, again, 27, if you observe, again, it is one, which means, it is starting from one and it is ending with seven, right? So according to our requirement, we don't need weekends. So that is six and seven. So I don't need that, right? Now let us try to optimize our calculation and we will try to customize it according to our weekends. So here, so we don't need six and seven from this. Again, I'm trying to write another if statement on top of this, and I'm writing it as if ISO week day. Okay, I'm opening the bracket here and uh, I'm closing it here. So from this, what we will get, we will get a week number, right? Week day number, right? So that should not be equal to six. Okay. And I'm just copying the entire thing here. Okay. And I'm just pasting it here and not equal to seven. Okay. So I'm closing it uh, here and again. So we need to close, then we need our current year end it simple okay so there is little error here let us correct that so this bracketing starting here and it is closing here and so here also we need weekday is not and this bracketing starting here and it is ending here. Then, then we need current here and end. So some error we are getting. Let us remove it for now. We will try to correct that. End it. Okay, so here only we have error. What is the error here? If then here. Okay, is, okay. Then I need current year and now it is valid. So we'll copy. So I'm just trying to, uh, then current year end, right? So I'm just trying to write and So we'll just write something like this. Here it is and again I'm same thing I'm trying to write here. It's not equal to this, not equal to seven. Then we need current year and I'm ending it simple. Okay, so it is now valid if I click on apply. Now if you see only weekdays we are getting here, 2020, 2011 to 24. 
2011 to 24. So if I go to November 2011 to 24, only weekdays we are getting. Next, 27 to 1st. 27 to 1st. So we are getting only those. So I can remove all of that that I don't need from here. So this I don't need because we only needed for our reference purpose. I'm removing that. This also we don't need. No, this is only your weekdays. So this way we can calculate last uh, end days and show only weekdays from that. Okay. So you can try to write uh, this calculation in an alternate way. Again, my intention was to show you how we can write uh, logic and build it from one single step. So here we have written complicated logic of multiple ifs, multiple date differences, and how we have concatenated step by step. Okay, but you can try to leverage this logic if at all the same situation arises, or you can try to write in your own perspective that you think will work. So with that said, I'm ending this video. I hope you have found this video is useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.